time for the Wednesday segment where our producers stress our knowledge on various sport and sporting events, just the facts. For West Indies have named seven uncapped players in their squad for the upcoming test series against Australia and as such, today's quiz surrounds West Indians and their debut against Australia. The pass mark, six out of ten. Ready? Let's go. The Wisden Cricket of the Year 1987, 2010 ICC Cricket Hall of Fame inductee made his debut. All right, so we lost that one. Coming back up. Do we? Okay. Made his debut November 9, 1984 against Australia. Who is he? Yeah, 1987. Made his debut in 84. Let's come back to that one. Yeah, let's go All right, next. Again. This Trinbegonian both made his debut and played his last ODI matches against Australia in a career that spanned between 1978 and 1987. 1978. Larry Gomes. 78, 87. I will try Larry Gomes for that. All right, number three, please. Which Guyanese batter who scored 51 and 45 on their test debut against the Aussies at Perth? Okay, Tej. Three players made their test debut in Australia's 1978 tour of the Caribbean, including Derek Parry and Richard Austin, who was the third. 1978. Basil Williams. Basil. Okay. Yeah, scored a century yeah. on debut against Australia as well. Yeah. All right, number four. That was with the Packer when they yeah. top players with which, the Packer. Which yeah. was, I think, the significant part of that. Okay, come on, team. Trio. How much did Desmond Haynes score in both his Test and ODI debuts <laughs> during Australia's 1978 tour of the Caribbean? What were his debut scores? Desmond he scored Haynes. 148 in the One Day International. And um, ODI. ODI. Test on ODI. I'm, I'm, I don't recall how much he scored in test, but his on on ODI debut, he scored 148 from yeah. 136 deliveries. Mm. Um, I, I have seen one, videos yeah. of that knock. It's quite a knock. Mm. Okay, we'll come back to that one next. Will we? Next, <laughs> next. We have to save time. Number six. This wicketkeeper batsman scored 41 and 43 on test debut during Dujan. the Windies. Jeffrey Dujan. All right, so we saved some time. Next, seven. Back in 2013, Australia defeated West Indies by nine wickets in the first of five ODIs in Perth after dismissing West Indies for 70. This debutant took the only Aussie wicket. What year is that? 2013? Yeah. ODIs. Let's go back Fine. to that. Let's go okay. back to that. Seven, coming back to that. Yes. Number eight. Yeah. Kimar Roach made his T20 debut in a seven wicket win over Australia. How many wickets did he take? Five? One. <laughs> One or two? Two, let's say two. Yeah, let's go with two. Mm. Fine. Nine. True or false, Michael Holding batted at number three during the test debut against Australia in 1975. He would have he would have had to be a night, night watchman. watchman. Yeah. It sounds like it, it it sounds too specific not to be, to be true. true. Yeah. And you know he made 34. He actually yeah. scored some runs there. Okay, true. Yeah, let, let's say true. Yeah. All right, have, 10. Yeah. These two Jamaicans made their test debut in the second test of Australia's 2003 tour of the Caribbean. These two Jamaicans made their test debut in the second test. Carlton Ball and David Bernard Jr. All right, we have a lot to go back to, so let's start. <clears throat> Number one, this was then Cricketer of the Year, 1987. 1984. 
what year did the Charles make his test debut? Was it 87 or 88? I don't think it was 87. Was it? 87. Okay, Wisden Cricketer of the off. Oh, it was Wisden Cricketer of the Year in 87. Okay. Our time is up, team. All right. Ah, yeah, we lost yeah, that. So mm. Let's go to the next one. Back in 2013, Australia defeated West Indies by nine wickets. Oh, this debutant. Let's see. The only Aussie wicket. This 2013. was 2013. Yeah, I, I can't recall. Can't recall. <laughs> mm -hmm. no, we 2013. Just 2013. Yeah. Mm -mm. All right, so, okay, can we see the answers or you, we have any more to go back to? No, that's it, I think. Okay, answers, please. Walsh. Courtney Walsh. Oh, oh, my. <laughs> Uh, Larry Gomes. Oh, Larry Gomes. Yeah. yeah so that's one. Mm. Page. That's two. That's my hands. Said Basil. Three players made their test debut in Australia's seventy-eight tour of the Caribbean. That's seventy-eight tour of the Caribbean. Including Derek Fan, which I was. Next. This one is 61 test yeah, and well, 140. We didn't get that. We got half. We got half for that because you said 140 is in the ODI, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he did. Yeah, what the 61. Jeff, Jeff Dijon. Dijon got it, yeah. Jason Holder. Wow. Holder. Yeah, 2013. Mm. Two. Two. We said two, right? Yeah, he said yeah. Two. two. Wow. Four, five, four. True. True. Five. <laughs> Carlton Bowen did. Bernard, yeah. Six. Yeah, Jeff forgot that. So yeah. six and a half. Six and a half. Yeah, I, I, I thought I, th I thought that was tough. So six and a half for tough me. Tough is what you say. Was, impossible was. is more like it. <laughs> well, we did six and a half, so it, it wasn't as impossible as you're saying. I want to I want to tell our viewers though that coming up at the track on the Sportsmax Zone Thursday, the latest in Thorbert action from Barbados, Jamaica, and the USA, where the Barbadian trainer Savvy Joseph's winning streak continues plus a tampa bay downs race from florida that you could be tempted to think was x-rated and not fit for airplay check out what goes down thursday at the track on the sports mag zone